Hello children, myself, Mrs. Roma Putran, an educator of Maths, Standard 10th from Srimati L.P. Savani Vidya Bhavan. Today, we are going to start with new chapter, chapter number 1, Real Numbers. Children, as you all have learned about real numbers, you all have learned about natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational number, irrational numbers and real numbers. As you all know, N stands for natural number. Natural numbers means it starts from 1 and ends to infinitely many. Similarly, whole number. Smallest whole number is 0. Largest whole number is infinitely many. Integers. In integers, the symbol for integers is Z. Integers includes negative number, positive numbers and 0. That means all the members of natural numbers are present in whole number. So we can say that natural number is a subset of whole number. Similarly, all the members of whole numbers are present in integers. So we can say whole number is a member of whole number is a subset of integers. Then integers is a subset of real numbers. Now today we are going to learn about rational numbers. Rational numbers means number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are co-prime and the prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m where n and m are non-negative integers. That means number which we can express in p by q form. As for example, if I say that 2 upon 3, here we can see that 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers. Okay, now and denominator should be in the form of 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Means it should be in the form of either denominator should be either in the form of 2, in the form of 5 or in the form of 2 and 5. Similarly, so we can say rational numbers, it can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are co-prime and prime factorization of q is in the form of 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m where n and m are non-negative integers. Children, now you have already learned about how to find out HCF. Now in this chapter, we are going to learn out how to find out HCF. In HCF, we are going to follow two methods. First method is prime factorization method. Another method is Euclid division algorithm method. Now, we are going to start with exercise 1.1. Question 1 is, use Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF of. Now, that means this question we are going to find out by Euclid's division algorithm. First of all, question is 135 and 225. Here, 225 is greater. So, what we will write 225 is greater than 135. After that, 225 is equal to 135. After that, you have to divide this 225 by 135. Here you can see after dividing 225 by 135, okay, we get in quotient we get 1, in remainder we get 90. So we can say 135 multiplied by 1 plus 90. So what I have written? 135 multiplied by 1 plus 90. Now we have to take 135 and 90. So, we will take 135 is equals to 90. Again, we have to divide 135 by 90. Here you can see 135 divided by 90. What we got in quotient 1, remainder is 45. That means 135 is equals to 90 multiplied by 1 plus 45. So, 90 multiplied by 1 plus 45. Now, we will take 90 and 45. So, we have to take 90 is equals to 45. Now this directly we know that 45 multiplied by 2, 90 plus 0. This you have to continue till you get the answer 0. So that means our HCF is 45. So from here you can make out that HCF is 45. This method is known as Euclid's division algorithm. Next question 196 and 38,220. Here we can see 38,220 is greater than 196. So what we have to do? We have to divide 38,220 by 196. After dividing we get here you can see 38,220 is equals to 196 multiplied by 195 plus 0. Directly answer in first step only we are getting answer 0 means HCF is 196. Third question is 867 and 255. Here 867 is greater than 255. So 
what we have to do? We have to divide 867 by 255. By dividing, we are getting, here you can see that 867 is equals to 255 multiplied by 3 plus 102. So here we will write 867 is equals to 255 multiplied by 3 plus 102. Now, we have to take numbers 255 and 102. So, we will divide 255 by 102. 255 divide by 102. That means 255 is equals to 102 multiplied by 2 plus 51. So, here you can see 255 is equals to 102 multiplied by 2 plus 51. Now, we have to take the numbers 102 and 51. So, we will divide 102 by 51. 51 2 is 102 plus 0. As we got, got the answer 0, that means we have to end over here. Now, HCF is 51. So, like this we can find out HCF by Euclid's division algorithm. Coming to next question. Question is, show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. This is question. Now, children, you all have already learned that dividend equals to divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. So, here you can see divisor is 6. Q stands for quotient and 1 is the remainder. Now, it is question is any positive odd integer. So, we will suppose let A be any positive odd integer. Now, we have already learned that A is equals to BQ plus R. Just now only I have explained. A means divisor, B mean, sorry, A means dividend, B means divisor, Q stands for quotient and R stands for remainder. So here looking at this, you can make out what is the divisor? Divisor is 6. So B equals to 6 means divisor is 6. Children, you all know that remainder is always less than divisor. Remainder is always less than divisor. Here divisor is 6 means Remainder can be, that means remainder is less than 6 or greater than or equals to 0. That means remainder can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That means A is equals to quotient, sorry, divisor into quotient plus remainder. Here we have taken 0. Then remainder 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like this we will get 6Q plus 0. That is 6Q, 6Q plus 1 and so on. Why we have taken till 5 only? Because Divisor is 6, so remainder can be maximum 5. So we have taken A is equal to 6Q plus 5. But here you can see 6Q, 6Q plus 2 and 6Q plus 4 are even. While 6Q plus 1, 6Q plus 3 and 6Q plus 5 are odd. Now our question is odd integer. Odd integer means this 3 are even. This, this and this are even. Even we don't have to consider. We have to consider only odd. That means our answer can be in the form of 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 and 6q plus 5. Next question. Question number 3. An RB contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum, maximum number of columns in which they can march? From this word maximum you can make out. Maximum means highest. That means you have to understand that you have to find out HCF. That means you have to find out HCF for 616 and 32. Here also I have applied the same Euclid's division algorithm. 616 and 32. 616 is greater. So we will divide 616 by 32. Looking at this division you can make out 616 is equals to 32 multiplied by 19 plus 8. So here you can see 32 multiplied by 19 plus 8. Now we have to take number 32 and 8. So 32 equals to. We know that 8 fours are 32 plus 0. Can you see children? Here we got the answer 0. That means here we have to stop. That means our answer is 8. That means HCF is 8. Means maximum number of columns in which the contingent march is 8. Next question, question number 4. Question is, show, use Euclid's division lemma to show that square of any positive integer is of the form 3m, 3m plus 1. Now here you can see square of any positive integer. 
ये पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज नॉट गिवन सो वी विल सपोज लेट एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इक्वल्स टू एक्स यो यू कैन सी दैट इंटीजर इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री एम एंड थ्री एम प्लस वन कैन यू सी चिल्ड्रेन डिवाइजर फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन मेक आउट वॉट इज अ डिवाइजर डिवाइजर इज थ्री यर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी डिवाइजर इज थ्री नाउ डिवाइजर इज थ्री मीन्स रिमाइंडर इज लेस देन थ्री और ग्रेटर देन जीरो एंड इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स रिमाइंडर कैन बी जीरो वन एंड टू दैट मीन्स x equals to थ्री क्यू प्लस जीरो एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री क्यू प्लस वन एंड एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री क्यू प्लस टू दैट मीन्स देर आर थ्री पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज रिमाइंडर इज जीरो वन एंड टू ओके नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट फर्स्ट प्रॉबिलिटी दैट मीन्स एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री क्यू नाउ अवर क्वेश्चन इज स्क्वेर ऑफ एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर यर वी हैव सपोज एक्स एज पॉजिटिव इंटीजर बट वी वॉन्ट स्क्वेर सो वॉट वी विल डू एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू सो टेकिंग स्क्वेर ऑन बोथ द साइड नाउ इफ वी टेक स्क्वेर ऑन बोथ द साइड एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू टेकिंग स्क्वेर ऑन बोथ द साइड सो यर यू कैन सी नाइन क्यू स्क्वेर नाइन क्यू स्क्वेर वी हैव गॉट वी वॉन्ट आंसर थ्री एम सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू टेक आउट थ्री एस कॉमन सो यर यू कैन सी थ्री इन टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर वॉट इज कॉमन थ्री इज कॉमन सो आंसर इज थ्री एम वेर सो दिस थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर विल बी योर एम वेर एम इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट इज Now, next possibility is x equals to three q plus one. Here also we have to take square because question is square of positive integer. So x square is equal to three q plus one whole square. Now, children, you all remember the formula a plus b whole square. A plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two ab plus b square. So applying that formula, you will get the answer nine q square plus six q plus one. This answer you will get. Now we want three m plus one. Plus one is already there. Here we want three. So in this two, what we'll take out? Though here we can see that q is common, but we will not take out q as common. We'll take out three as common. Three as common in bracket three q square plus two two q plus one. So it will be three m plus one, where m is equals to three q three q square plus two q. So we have got m is equals to sorry. X square is equals to three m plus one. Now, third possibility that is remainder is two. Remainder is two means x is equals to three q plus two. Again, taking square on both the sides. Again, applying the formula, we will get nine q square plus twelve q plus four. We will get. Now here you can see four. We can divide four into two parts. That is, in place of four, we will write three plus one. children we have written 3 plus 1 because we want plus 1 so i have split this 4 into two parts that is 3 plus 1 so here you can see taking 3 as common what we will get 3 q square plus 4 q plus 1 into bracket plus 1 that means 3 m plus 1 so here what is the value of m value of m is 3 q square plus 4 q plus 1 now Next question is using Euclid's division algorithm show that cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 children in previous question we have seen square of any positive integer in this question it is there cube of any positive integer so what we have to take in previous question we have taken square on both the sides in this question we have to take cube on both the sides So again here x be any positive integer. Now children here you can see nine. Now factors of nine is three. So instead of taking nine as divisor, we can take three as divisor. So here divisor is three means remainder is less than three or greater than equals to zero. That means remainder is zero one and two. That means first case is x equals to three q plus zero because remainder is zero. Now three q plus zero means three q. So here you can see x is equals to three q. Now in our question, it is given cube of any positive integer. So what we have to do? We have to take cube on both the sides. So here you can see taking cube on both the sides. What we will get? X cube is equals to twenty seven nine q. Now here what we want nine. We want nine. So what we'll do? Twenty seven we will split into two parts. One part should be nine because we want nine. So I have taken nine multiplied by three q cube. 
Why 9 multiplied by 3? Because 27 is equal to 9 multiplied by 3. So here you can see x cube is equal to 9 m means value of m is 3 q cube. So where m is equal to 3 q cube. So first we have got the answer x cube is equal to 9 m. Okay. Now next possibility is remainder is 1. That means x is equal to 3 q plus 1. Again taking square or taking cube on both the sides. Children now this formula you have already learned. Formula is a plus b whole cube. a plus b whole cube is equals to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So applying this formula, we will get the answer 27q cube plus 1 plus 27 9, 9 square, uh, uh, 27q square plus 9q. Now we want 9m plus 1. So we will take this plus 1 to the right side. So arranging the terms, 1 plus 1 will take to the last. So, by arranging the term, we have got this answer. Now, children, what we have to take common? We have to take common 9 because we want 9m. So, here we will take 9s common. In bracket, you will get 3q cube plus 3q square plus q plus 1. So, you will get 9. This one is our m plus 1. So, 9m plus 1. So, we will write that where m is equals to 3q cube plus 3q square plus q. Children, remember one thing. While taking common, here you can see q is that you, q you can take common. But here we will not take q as common. Next possibility is 3q plus 2 because remainder is 2. Again, taking cube on both the sides and applying the same formula. Which formula? This one. Applying this formula will get the answer 27q cube plus 54q square plus 36q plus 8. Now children here we know what we want here. We want 9m plus 8. So this plus 8 will take to the right part. After taking 8 to the right part, we will take out common 9s, 9s common in this. So taking 9s common, we will get 9 common into bracket 3q cube plus 6q square plus 4q as common plus 8. So answer is 9, this one is m plus 8. So 9m plus 8, where m is equals to this. So children, here you can see we want 9m plus 8. We have got 9m plus 8. So it is proved that x can be in this form 9m, 9m plus 1 and 9m plus 8. Now, new exercise, exercise 1.2. Question is, express as a product of primes. Children, this is very easy. This 140 is a question we have to take in the form of prime numbers. We have to take out the factors such that factors should be in the prime number. So here we have taken out the factors 140. Here you can see 270s are, 235s are, 57s are, 71s are. So here you can see that all these numbers are prime numbers. So we have to take out prime numbers as factors. So here 140 is equals to 2 square into 5 into 7. Similarly, 156, 278za, 239za, 313za, 131za. That means prime factors of 156 is 2 square into 3 into 13. Now talking about 3825, factors we will get 3 square multiplied by 5 square multiplied by 17. Next question is 5005. For 5005, Factors will be 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. And for next question 7429 factors are 17 into 19 into 23. Children remember here that you have to take out prime numbers as factor. Don't forget to take prime numbers. If you will take composite number then it will be considered as wrong. So take the factors that is prime factors only. Now, next question is find HCF and LCM and verify that HCF multiplied by LCM is equals to product of two numbers. Now, students, we have learned the how to find out HCF. First method we have already learned that is Euclid's division algorithm. Now, in this question, we are going to learn another method to find HCF and LCM that is prime factorization method. 
children remember that if we want to find out hcf what we have to take we have to take only common numbers and in common numbers you have to take smaller one and in lcm you have to take in common numbers you have to take bigger number and rest all numbers you have to take i'll repeat hcf common smaller number lcm in common bigger number and rest all the numbers now here we have to find hcf and lcm now factors of 26 you know 2 multiply by 13 26 91 37 multiply by 13 as i told you in hcf we have to take common numbers so here in this two you can see 13 is common so we'll take hcf is equals to 13 for lcm for common numbers greater one we have to take so here what we'll take 13 we will take and rest all numbers means 2 and 7 so 2 into 7 into 13 is equals to 182 so hcf is equals to 13 lcm is equals to 182 now we have to verify verify means we have to prove that hcf multiplied by lcm is equals to product of two numbers that means lhs is left hand side is hcf into lcm hcf into lcm is equals to 13 multiplied by 182 equals to 2366 now talking about rhs that is right hand side rhs is product of two numbers means which two numbers are there 26 and 91 so 26 into 91 is equal to 2366 So here we you can see that LHS and RHS both are same. Means we have already proved that LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. Coming to next question, same way. First of all, factors of five hundred and ten. It is two into three into five into seventeen. Factors of ninety two is two square into twenty three. HCF. Children, as I said that. HCF means common. In common, we have to take smaller number. Can you see what is common here? Two is common. In two, smaller number we have to take. Here we can see that two is common. I have already told you that in HCF, common we have to take, and in common smaller one. Now here two is common. Which one is smaller, children? Two or two square? Here you can see two is smaller one. That means HCF equals to two. Now talking about LCM, in LCM, in common we have to take greater number. In common, greater. So here two is common. Which one is greater? Two square is greater. So we'll take two square, and rest all numbers means three, five, seventeen, and twenty-three. Multiplying all the numbers, we will get twenty-three thousand four hundred and sixty. So HCF is two, and LCM is this. Now we have to verify that LHS equals to RHS. LHS equals to HCF into LCM. HCF is two. LCM is twenty three thousand four hundred and sixty. So two into twenty three thousand four hundred and sixty. Answer we will get forty six thousand nine hundred and twenty. Now RHS that is right hand side. RHS is product of two numbers. Two numbers are five one zero and ninety two. So five one zero multiplied by ninety two, you will get the answer. Forty-six thousand nine hundred and twenty. So here we can see LHS equals to RHS. So it is proved. Question number three. Again here the same method. Find HCF and LCM by prime factorization method. Difference is in previous question only two numbers were there. In this question three numbers are there. Now here you can see we have to find out HCF and LCM of twelve, fifteen, and twenty-one. Factors of twelve are. Two square into three. Factors of fifteen, three into five. Twenty-one is three into seven. Here you can see, as I have already told you, HCF means in common smaller. Here you can see what is common. Three is common, so HCF equals to three. In LCM, in common we have to take bigger number and rest all number. So in LCM, common number is three, so we we'll take three. And rest all number means two square five and seven. So two square into five into seven. By multiplying, we'll get the answer four twenty. So LCM is four twenty. Coming to next question, find the HCF and LCM of seventeen, twenty three, and twenty nine. So as we know that seventeen, twenty three, and twenty nine are prime numbers. So factors will be one into seventeen, one into twenty three, one into twenty nine. So 
एच सी एफ इक्वल्स टू वन एंड एल सी एम इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटीन इंटू ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू इलेवन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन चिल्ड्रेन एज सच इफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज आज इन वन मार्क्स सो रिमेंबर दैट एच सी एफ ऑफ प्राइम नंबर इज ऑलवेज वन अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग एच सी एफ ऑफ प्राइम नंबर इज ऑलवेज वन एंड एल सी एम ऑफ प्राइम नंबर इज देर प्रोडक्ट इफ एल सी एम इज एक्स यूर टू मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द नंबर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड आउट एच सी एफ एंड एल सी एम ऑफ एट नाइन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव एट मीन्स टू क्यूब नाइन मीन्स थ्री स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव मीन्स फाइव स्क्वेर यर यू कैन सी नथिंग इज कॉमन इफ नथिंग इज कॉमन मीन्स वन इज कॉमन दैट मीन्स एच सी एफ इक्वल्स टू वन एल सी एम इज इक्वल टू टू क्यूब इंटू थ्री स्क्वेर इंटू फाइव स्क्वेर सो एट इंटू नाइन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव आंसर यू विल गेट एटीन हंड्रेड टर्निंग टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एच सी एफ इज गिव एच सी एफ ऑफ थ्री जीरो सिक्स एंड सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन इज नाइन एल सी एम वी हेव टू फाइंड इट आउट नाउ दिस फॉर्मुला चिल्ड्रेन यू टू रिमेंबर एच सी एफ इंटू एल सी एम इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर एच सी एफ इज नाइन मल्टीपाई बाई एल सी एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री जीरो सिक्स मल्टीपाई बाई सिक्स फिफ्टी सेवन सो एल सी एम इक्वल्स टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन बिकम्स डिविजन बाई कटिंग यू विल गेट दी आंसर ट्वेंटी टू इन ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी एट चिल्ड्रेन फॉर टूडे दिस मच ओनली थैंक यू वेरी मच And please copy down all these things in your notebook.